Hey everybody, Mike here. In today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I actually invited Kyle, who's a good friend, to do a lesson on NSXT backups. I thought it would be really cool to shake things up a bit and have a different face on the channel. Hopefully you guys like it. Feel free to comment, let us know what you think. If you do enjoy Kyle's teaching style, I'll definitely have him back. If you don't, I need to know that too so that I can ignore his emails and messages. So that said, I hope you all enjoy it. Enough talking, let's get right to the lesson and learn something about backups. So my name is Kyle. I've been working with VMware products for a long time and in NSX for quite a long time too. And I've really enjoyed it and I just wanted to start giving back to the community. So this is me doing just that. So I wanna start this out with a pretty easy episode about backing up NSX actually. And so we're going to try and make this very light and very basic. And then maybe later on episodes, I can get into a lot more of the complexities of around backing uh, the backup process and NSX as far as doing restores. And, and that's pretty much it. So I want to hop right on into it. So from here, I'm going to actually um, break into the demo. And then at the end, I'll cover some other components um, that we might try and do some follow on videos for. So let me flip on over. You'll see here, this is just a basic NSX environment that I stood up in my lab. Oh God, I've done, set, I've set this lab up, I don't know, probably a dozen times now. So this will be the 13th time. <laughs> so let's go over and look. And you'll notice here from the appliances that I've actually set up all three appliances and I actually have a, a VIP set as well and the active one is the 191 so right here and you'll actually notice that I uh, provision these with as large as because you know I guess I'm a baller <laughs> in my lab so I've got plenty of RAM plenty of CPU to throw around so it makes things a little bit easier so let's get over over to the backup tab and, and go through this setup so we're going to set up the, um, actually, as you can tell, this is just a, a blank environment right now. So we're going to go through and set up the SFTP target here. And let's go ahead and do that now. So from here, I'm actually going to uh, just go through this really quick. I might actually advance this video so you can skip some of the steps. So here, uh, right at this point, after you get all this stuff set up and you hit save for the very first time, it's actually going to throw you up. I'm talking about the uh, the thumbprint for the SFTP server itself. So you're going to click uh, that you want to add that guy, and then you're going to hit save again. So let's do that. So here we actually have the SFTP server target set up and we're going to go ahead and set up the intervals here. So let's get into the interval piece of this. So we're going to set up a reoccurring backup and this is pretty important to decide when you guys actually want to back up NSX. Everybody's different. So you just kind of decide what you want. For me, uh, in my particular case, I'm probably just going to set it up for 1 a.m. in the morning on Sunday so it's short sure, 1 a.m. in the morning some people you know might want to do it multiple days maybe less days you know it's whatever you want to do this detect NSX configuration changes I'm gonna tell you right up front if you don't know what you're doing this is probably a bad idea and even me for example I would I seldom see this in any of my production environments that I'm uh, that I am in charge of to actually use this, this um, it just creates a lot of backups. So if you want to look into it, by all means, but I'm going to tell you probably not. So we're going to go ahead and hit save here. So now we have the SFTP target and we have a schedule. So now we just want to start a backup. So let's gonna, we're going to kick off a backup and then I'm just going to um, advance it from there and we're, I'll come back to it once the backup is done. Looks like the backup finished. So where you'll see it down here that it actually finished. So that's good. So now we want to pop over 
to the Windows Server where we actually did it, just a quick glance at, at what happened there. Okay, you'll see right here, this is the uh, Windows Server itself. And if you look in here, you'll see two folders. This is the actual backup. I can go into some details about what this means, but essentially it's the version, the UUID of the node of the NSX manager node that actually performed the backup and the IP address of that node. And here you'll see the folder structure and a whole bunch of tar files that you could pick apart. The other bit of information here would be the inventory summary. So this is some JSON data here, which is I think important to see some of the inventory that it actually captures. So that's good data to know. So that's it as far as the actual data that it backed up. So let's get back over to NSX. So here we've successfully set up an SFTP target. We set up a schedule and we actually went and looked at the backups itself. So that's a good start for this video and I think that pretty much covers everything we wanted to cover in the video. Uh, so let's kind of go into a little bit of a summary. So we wanted to back up NSX. We set up a target, we backed it up, we set a schedule, we looked at the backup, everything looks good. So as far as we're concerned, that's it as far as backing up NSX on a very basic level. There is some more things that we want to do in the future. And for an example, the, or there is a setting called PubFQDNS, which is an API call that you need to make that enriches some of the backup procedure. And in particular, it enriches the restore functionality of it. And it's a little bit further, uh, it's a little bit deeper than we want to carry this particular video, but we definitely want to cover it. So if you guys are interested, uh, let me know down below and I'll give it a row <laughs> as far as uh, tackling some of these other functions of backing up NSX that might be worthwhile to uh, some other people. I think the last part is, is if you guys are interested in maybe the restore side of this too, definitely let me know uh, in the comments and uh, I can see about making a video to do just that. I appreciate you guys watching my very first video. Please uh, give me a comment, or a thumbs up or something. Just let me know that you appreciate it and I'm more than happy to make more. So thank you very much guys. Uh, thanks for watching my very first video. Have a good one.